Hello community, so great that you are back. Yes, I know, Google DeepMind Robotics, it's everywhere. Listen, even in my financial times, it is here today. Google DeepMind unveils new AI models here for to make robots useful. Or even here, Verge. Gemini Robotics, here, March 12, 4 p.m. Just hours ago, even Reuters, rapidly growing robotics industry. Or beloved Bloomberg. Google here, a new AI model for robotics, challenging Meta and OpenAI. And you might say, unbelievable, we have new systems, new AI systems. So let's have a look. Here's the technical paper from Google DeepMind, March 12, 2025, Gemini Robotics. 60, 70 pages, quite interesting to read, but yeah, we would say, okay. So we have the first model, Gemini Robotics, a vision language model. Well, of course, based on Gemini 2. And the second AI is Gemini Robotics ER for embodied reasoning. And you say, hey, what, 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 we are talking still about reasoning here? Yes, we are talking still about reasoning. We are now in the fifth video talking about reasoning. But by pure accident, we're talking about reasoning for robotics. And we will build on the last video because it is so easy now to transfer our knowledge to the vision language model. And if you say, but hey, my AI on my little here consumer GPU, why should I do reasoning here for robotics? Well, guess what? AI is all about reasoning. So here we have the technical paper, Gemini Robotics. Here's the link if you want to download it. But you know what? I just read it and it's not so interesting. Yes, you see a lot of robots and videos who do some tasks in the kitchen. But hey, we are a research channel. No, we want to have a deep dive. So we say, okay, let's have a look, a deeper look. So what we know from LLMs that the reinforcement learning with some outcome reward has really scaled up our chain of thought reasoning in our LLMs. And this was exactly the topic in my last video. And now, the training now a vision language model agent for an action reasoning in a visual real-time environment is much less explored, much less is established. So there's place for our AI research. Great. And we have from today a brand new study from our colleagues from Tsinghua University in China. And they say, hey, you know what? Vision language model, you know what we found? A collapse, a model's collapse, why? Now as a subscriber, you immediately understand why, because Accidentally, in my last video, we were talking exactly about this. And now we use the same idea for the vision language model. So, our colleagues in China told us, hey, we find when the rewards are based on the action outcome only, our classical reinforcement learning fails to incentivize a chain of thought reasoning in our vision language model, leading here to a phenomenon we call now thought collapse. We have now incomplete reasoning, invalid action, negative rewards, the system collapses. What is happening? And you might say, I know it. I know it because I've seen your last video. Exactly. Now, our friends in China say, you know what? To counteract now this collapse that we detected in our vision language model for our robotics, they say we highlight now the necessity of a process guidance. You know, a progress reward system and propose an automated corrector that evaluates and refines the agent reasoning at each single reinforcement learning step. So we have a corrector AI system, an additional external corrector system that redefines the reasoning at each step. Yes, absolutely. And they call this system here GTR, Guided Sort Reinforcement. And yes, it works without human labeling. And you say, but this is exactly the topic of my last video, where we talked about meta reinforcement fine tuning, and we called this yesterday, no, CMU, uh, Carnegie Mellon University called this MRT. Yes, you see, at the leading and bleeding edge of AI research, sometimes things happen at the same day. This happened in a pure LLM, this happened here in Vision Language Model, and they are talking about the same effect. And yesterday I, we explained this, and yesterday we understood the solution, 
And now this makes it so easy to understand the paper of today. So here we go. The paper of today is this one. March 11, 2025, GTR Guided Sword Reinforcement. It prevents here the sword collapse in reinforcement learning based VLM agent trainings. And you might say, hey, wow, so simple suddenly AI. Yeah, yeah, absolutely. Because this paper details how the sort correction is now performed via an additional supervised fine tuning loss alongside a conventional PPO loss in reinforcement learning. And this, again, this is what we talked about in my video of yesterday. So you might say, hey, I know this, and I know the reason why this happens. Now let's have a look here at a GTR framework from our friends in China. And it is easy. We have now a vision language model agent. Hey, great. And guess what? This agent also has some sorts. It looks around, it says, okay, I'm here in the kitchen, I'm looking for the refrigerator or whatever, or playing a game of cards. So those sorts are now separated from the action. This is the main idea. So we have now the, action, the agent's sort tokens. Those sort tokens by the agents are not the perfect one, but we have a correct AI model. And this is a VLM as a correct AI. This is the best VLM you can find, you can pay for whatever you have. Plus, this VLM has a tool user function calling capability. I'm talking about it in a minute. This is so effective. And now this VLM corrects here our little V, this VLM as a correct AI, corrects now the VLM agent AI. And this is exactly what we're going to talk about. Because now with the correction, this goes back here and we have a supervised fine tuning of the system with the difference of those terms. And at the same time, you remember, we are in the classical reinforcement learning PPO process. And our PPO updating is now working for the action tokens in the classical way. And now we bring them together and we get a better VLM agent for a better reasoning. It integrates now the thinking process and the action process together. Isn't this great? So we have an automated sort correction here and then the GPR, GTR performs here the supervised fine tuning updating of the agent's sort tokens and the PPO updating for its action tokens. This is in green, this is in orange. You understand it immediately. Let me point out this corrector mechanism, like in Lester's video, this is so important. Why? Because we have this at each reinforcement learning training step. So after the model generates its chain of sort thinking token, the corrector takes now the state of the system and the generated reasoning by our VLM as inputs. And then this super AI, this ASI, this corrector AI provides now corrected sorts for the vision language reasoning agent. So this much more intelligent corrector AI processes now the chain of sort and the output outputs here a refined reasoning version. And this corrected version now serves as the target for the agent reasoning. And then the agent is updated. The agent is, not, uh, is only updated not only for the reinforcement, the PPO loss, the classical one computed from the final action, but also here from the supervised fine-tuning loss that, careful, minimizes now the difference between its own sort tokens of our VLM and those sort tokens provided by the perfect ESI corrector AI. So again, like in yesterday's video, we just have the difference here of those reasoning paths. And we create a super wise fine-tuned loss. Now in this specific model, it is rather easy from the mathematical side. Have a look at this. So you see, we can separate our action log probability here into some beautiful terms. So we have a log probability of the chain of sort tokens here. This THT means sort here, which represent reasoning behind a particular decision. And then we have here a log probability of the action token, ACT, which directly indicate here the chosen action. 
here you have the complete notation. Beautiful. Now I can tell you from my own experience, watch out for lambda. The scaling factor lambda. Notice lambda is only here applied to the chain of thought component and it has a particular function in this equation. Its function is to balance the longer sequences of the sort against the shorter sequence of the action tokens. This is a crucial parameter you have to be careful. Yeah, the balance is crucial because it ensures that the training process rewards not only the correctness of the final action, but also the quality and the coherence of the intermediate reasoning. So how strong you put lambda will have a massive influence on your result. If you're new to this and you say, what is a PPO loss? Why do we talk about an action log probability? How is this interconnected? Why do I have to calculate this? Here, three very short paragraphs where I try to make here yeah, a very easy explanation why we use here the log probability for the policy gradient, for the optimization and the stability, and the gradient signal itself. Now, the second part is beautiful. We are now looking here at the expectation operator, at our functor algebra. And in the easiest case, as you see here, we have two loss functions. No? We have the PPO loss function, of course, for the action, A. And we have our loss function where we do the supervised fine-tuning with the corrector terms. This is it. Yes, you have here beautiful clip functionality, but those are the loss function, and this is the mathematics, and this is the code, and this is rather easy to implement. Remember yesterday, we did almost exactly the same thing. The terms were a little bit different. We had two instantiation of what we called yesterday MRT. And we looked here at the supervised fine-tuning version here, and this is based on the star model and the LLM, but we also used here a corrector AI. Just yesterday, the team by uh, Carnegie Mellon University called it the meta prover mu. Today, it is the correct AI, so careful. But if you understand what's behind the words, if you see the beauty of the process, of the flow, you don't care about here the terms. And then again, for behavior cloning, supervised fine-tuning step, we used again here the difference to the meta prover mu. And the second instantiation was the reinforcement learning variant here on policy sampling. Then we normalized here the rewards, beautiful, and we calculated here exactly this difference here, the progress bonus reward. And remember, our mu was yesterday just a best guess answer. But today, today, our friends in China give us a much better idea. They give us a VLM with a perfect tool use capability. Now, what a coincidence that we also have today from OpenAI also that they show us here. They make it much easier to use here our tools. So, therefore, we have now a system that we do not only rely on a sparse outcome reward function, but we have this correction term, yesterday in the video I explained this in detail, of the dense progress reward. The same is happening here. Just make it clear. I put it now side by side for you. Because the idea is the same. GTR, Kino Vision, is the use here on off the shelf VLM as a correct AI that continuously evaluates and refines the agent intermediate sorts. Beautiful. Process guidance, we don't, yeah, process guidance for what system it works. Yesterday, we looked exactly at the same mathematical term from a different perspective. This was the progress reward definition. We had a progress metric or progress. Yeah, episode set and give my context C and they explained this in the video. This was also here only the difference here to our mu, the meta prover policy. And then we did we did almost the same. Ne? For our surrogate objective, for the fine-tuning, for the standard fine-tuning objective, we had now this additional term. We brought our R progress down here and just added it here to the fine-tuning objective. So you see. The same idea, reinvented at this, almost the same day, different parts of our planet, beautifully. In the GTR, in the new now, the corrector model, they did some experiments with this. And they said, you know what? We just rely on the corrector model itself. What about we remove the tools? 
What about we remove the function calling ability from our AI system? What's the effect? Now, the effect was horrible. Significantly impairs its ability to analyze and solve the task. The agent lacks rationality. The reasoning remained illogical. And therefore, the corrector model as a GPT-4 Omnibus or as an AI itself was not enough. You must have a corrector model and AI system with the right tool use. If you have mathematical logic, go with Prolog or go with whatever you like. Go with C++ for a numerical calculation. Go with Python for whatever you have in physical experiments. You have to have access to the tools because an LLM as a corrector model they show us is not enough for a vision language model for a robot working here, a robot moving in the real world environment. So I particularly like this idea here, this external VLM now as a corrector AI, as a super AI, but tool use is here so important, so beautiful here. So we have here an external agent that is specialized here to correct here the reasoning steps of our little VLM agent. Great. <laughs> okay, I think we can come to a close because read the paper. It's a beautiful paper. You will understand everything immediately if you've seen my video of yesterday because it's the same idea. Short summary. This new GTR here leverages here a corrector AI system with tool use to supervise and refine the intermediate reasoning process of our vision language model during each and every step of the reinforcement learning training step. Corrector is essential because it prevents here this collapse that we see otherwise and it helps to build a stable reasoning process. This is done here via a supervised fine-tuning alongside the reinforcement learning objective as I have shown you the results. And then just between you and me, why the hell do we build a reasoning LLM, yeah? A vision language model with I don't know how many man hour and then we have thousands of NVIDIA GPUs and we still need an additional corrector AI that has to be even a better model, more GPUs, more test time compute scaling, more tool use, more access to databases, more access to numerical supercomputer. Are you joking? Why is it not enough to have one AI system? Why we have a hierarchy of AI system that makes vision language model robotics work in reality? This is not the final solution. I'm not satisfied with this idea. Improve. Those are the final words by our friends in China here. And they say here in their conclusion, during the reinforcement learning fine-tuning of our VLM agents for challenge and task, we identified this collapse, this sort collapse that's happening in the agent, a lack of sort supervision, losing its ability to think correctly. We found a solution. They say this is the guided sort reinforcement with a corrector AI, and therefore this leads to an effective process guidance. Beautiful paper. Read it. There are a lot of additional uh, paper and benchmarks and whatever you find there. But in essence, you're going to laugh all the way because it is identical to our video from yesterday. One little thing is, I just want to notice that they said here at the end, due to resource limitation, we will only do this on a 7 billion free trainable parameter model. And you know what? Those three, those uh, Tsinghua University and Peking University and Tencent, those are famous institutions. No? And they don't have here the resources to go beyond the 7B AI model. Come on, I thought this is only happening to me here in Europe. You too have the same limitation in China? Come on, NVIDIA, help the universities globally a little bit with your infrastructure. Otherwise, if you found this interesting and you see exactly where's the leading and bleeding edge of AI research from March 11, 2025 and March 12, 2025, here I have here Google DeepMind Robotics coming out. And you see exactly what is the topic that we are fighting for, what is the, the problems we encounter with our vision language model. And if you want to see more of those and the solution that we find here as a global AI research community, why not subscribe to this channel and I see you in my next video.